Hi everyone, so you join me in Chop's garage. Still feeling a bit sorry for myself because I'm still full of cold. I just can't seem to get rid of it. And uh, the unit's now getting properly cold this time of year. It'll start to it'll get very cold soon, but it's already getting colder. Affected business slightly me having this cold because the lady that was due to pick up the Renault Capture this morning has fallen ill with the same thing. And she thinks it's from being in the car with me on a test drive. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's not now being picked up today after Brooke came and helped me at the weekend and gave it a good clean up, but we'll keep it inside now, tucked up nice and dry. That's the nice thing about having all the space now. We didn't have the clear up that we wanted to have uh, when Brooke came up because she was poorly too. So we're not having a lot of luck on that front at the moment. Uh, the morning started off with the normal kind of used car dealer dramas, which I know you quite enjoy. Uh, we had a Kia Sportage on a 2004 14 I think it was or 15 we sold uh, it was three months ago and the lady messaged me it was a subscribers daughter I think the lady messaged me and said that she had a noise when the car was turning left I think it was didn't happen when it turned right and it was on the front and they're quite away from me so I said get it into a, a garage and get them to check out what it is. Now she did have a warranty wise package on, I think she extended it out to 12 months with a deal where she had it at a trade price and extended it out to 12 months. And what she did was a ring warranty wise to see where they'd say to go. And now warranty wise, only anything they have nationally is Halfords. So she went down to Halfords to get it ch checked out what it was. I didn't know it was gonna be Halfords at the time. Anyway, so she then promptly sent me a copy of Halfords findings. If I have the time, I'll put it up on the screen here somewhere if possible so halfords told the lady that they weren't sure exactly what the problem was but their solution was now bear in mind this went out with their brand new 12 month mot on it was to replace replace all discs and pads on the car and replace both front calipers because they thought that one of them was seized so the only fault they actually found was one brake caliper seized but the recommendation was to replace all discs and pads all the way around and the two calipers. But they also noted that even with all that done, they couldn't be sure that's what the noise was. <sighs> I was absolutely godsmacked. Uh, let me remind myself what the bill was. Well, I decided it'd be easier if I just printed it off. Um, so the quote was uh, £134 to renew the front brake pads. Um, £203 to replace brake discs that they decided are warped. Now, obviously, if a brake disc is warped, you normally get quite serious vibration through your steering wheel when you're braking, and that isn't what the customer's complaining of at all. How they establish the brake discs are warped, I do not know. Uh, they wanted to replace both rear brake discs as well, saying that they're excessively corroded. I've seen a picture of it. They're not particularly good-looking discs. They've got quite a bit of pitting in them, but... Again, they pr p passed a MOT test only uh, a few months ago. And also the customer's not complained of any squealing, anything like that. They've got, like I say, a noise from the front wheel. You know, obviously discs can look not very pretty, but still function exactly as they should. Um, brake caliper seized. Renew both front brake calipers. So they're saying both front brake calipers are seized or one is? Or are they trying to tell her that she has both... Front brake calipers are seized and all her brakes and discs are, are pants, but she's not get, had any issues with her braking or any noises or anything that other than that or squealing or anything of that noise when she turns left. So what's that total bill going to be? 600, 700, 800, it's about 900 pounds they want to do all of that. Um, yeah, pretty damn insane. And I said to the customer when I received this, it was basically like me telling you that you're... Uh, your shower's leaking in your bathroom, we're gonna knock your house down and rebuild it, just to be sure. It's absolutely insane. How can you not identify what noise is from a front wheel um, and then recommend you have both front brake calipers done, all the discs and pads done all the way around? It's utterly insane. Like I said to the lady, I said, if you had warp discs, you would be experiencing serious vibration. If you had brake discs and brake pads that were bad, you'd be experiencing squealing, that kind of thing. And like I said, the car just went through an MOT. So I have no confidence whatsoever in that report from Halfords. And what I've offered her to do, if she brings it down to the Moors guys, we'll get them to have a look at it and find out what this noise on the wheel is. 
because it was a knocking she was saying as well it was a knocking not a um it wasn't squealing or anything like that. it was like a knocking because my immediate thought was they were just going to find that it was a, a drop link had gone so we get down to the moors guys and i said that you know she can have a loan car either from them or from me while she's having it done because she is all the way down uh down in in cornwall but yeah how insane is that and I can just—I mean, I'm just thankful that it's a subscriber's daughter, and and she knows better than to believe that the car is as bad as Halford's made out. It's not, you know, there's no way you can have a car of mine go through an MOT just three months ago and be sold by me and have that list of faults with it. But I can imagine that in another scenario, that's where someone would go ape at a dealer and say that they'd um, they'd sold them a duffer, but. The, they do love to stick the knife in other garages, don't they? They do love to stick the knife in the garages. I'm sure everything that they've put down there, apart, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why you'd recommend two brake calipers, but I'm sure everything there is could be done. It'd be nice to be done, nice to have done, but it's not something that needs to be done. It's not a safety issue going on there. Um, as we know, like I say, from just having MOT'd it. But anyway, we'll get it down and see what the Moors boys say. On a, on a nicer note, we've got another subscriber uh, car they've sold us. We're going to have a quick look. So what we've got is a 64 plate stepway. And I do like stepways around here. In North Devon, again, we like stuff with a little bit more ground clearance, but not massive running costs. It's got the 1.5 DCI in it, which I think a good number of you know now is an engine I rate very well. It's a nicely spec one. It's got a full service history, including cam belt, which is the all important thing because I do need a cam belt every five years. And it's not never going to be an expensive car. I think its retail is about three nine nine five at best. It does need a little bit of a tidy up. Um, we have gone a little bit happy with the old touching pens. All this needs taken off with thinners and tidying up. I mean, obviously there are scratches underneath, but the touching's about twice the width of it all so we need to go around and take that off of it i haven't done a run home and backing yet which i'm gonna do yeah it's got one there one up there once we take all those back and tidy them up sometimes they're better left alone than they are touched in sometimes you're better better just having a scratch than you are having a big touching mark on it it's got the bluetooth which is the all important <coughs> It's got the uh, Bluetooth. Is that cruise control on these? I think that might be cruise control on these. I know that some of them have a speed limiter and some of them are cruise control. I think it is cruise control. Uh, electric windows. We've got the air con. What have we got home here? Have we got nav? Have we got nav? Yes, we've got nav. So yeah, cruise control, sat nav, air con. Yeah, for a Dacia, that's nicely spec'd out. Obviously, they can come with a lot less on them. 88,000 miles. Um, yeah, it's what it is, isn't it? Nice, affordable, economical transport. That's the 1.5 DCI, it's a cracking engine. For a car this is quite light, like this. Uh, I need the key for the boot, don't I? With a car that's quite light like this, it really does actually go quite well, because you've got I think over 200 foot pound of torque. I don't know what the horsepower is, but you go over 200 foot pound of torque at like 1500 RPM. So they pull really well. Yeah, it doesn't need an awful lot. Good hoover out. Take off that, those touchings. I think he must have machine polished it because, or waxed it because there's quite a lot of wax residue about. So that's all looking good. So under the bonnet, we've got the right color coolant. It should always be this sort of yellow in the, in the Renault ones. Oil is always going to be black because it always is in a diesel, but it's at the right level. You should expect with the service history it's got. Yeah, it seems seems all right. A couple of bit of sign of slight bit of a maybe a slight rocker cover leak or just a bit of diesely gunginess around it, but you kind of expect that for this age. We'll give it a good jet wash and a clean and just see if anything comes up afterwards. But yeah, I'd quite happily fill the yard full of stuff like this that's going to retail under five grand and is under 100,000 miles. I mean, this other stuff is nice, but it is much slower to sell. There's always somebody on the lookout for something around this price point. So yeah, massive thanks again for a subscriber of thinking of me and coming up from Plymouth to drop it off. 
much appreciated. I'll make a cracking little car for someone, that.